this is a ppt uh, internal audit this is these are some uh, workshop i handle organized by different chart accountant in uh, picardy hotel janakpuri this seminar organized by princeton academy for the corporates this is award given by the tn manohan icf president here sub seminar in icf bhavan now internal audits first of all why the internal audit is required why the internal audit required it is a big it need to be understand thoroughly internal audit is an independent objective assurance and consulting activities designed to add value and improve an organization operation it helps an organization accomplish its objective by bringing a systematic discipline approach to evaluate and improve the effectiveness of risk management control and governance process this is a difference shared by the institute of internal audit us i just go through the definition given by the institute of chartered accountant second one internal audit is an independent management function which involve a continuous and critical appraisal of the functioning of an entity with a view to suggest improvement there to an add value to and strengthen the overall governance mechanism of the entity including the entity strategic risk management and internal control system this is a definition given by the institute charter board we all know now internal audit is the foundation of almost all the company auditors or audit it is a tool to review company sound health because it focus on almost all the major process and their effectiveness because it cover all the major process and its control and it also check the effectiveness has the internal audit very important in current scenario fraud cases are increasing in many organization which so bypass of existing system and the process including management overhead also due to changing scenario the scope of work of an audit should be modified every year and integrate based on the challenge faced by the management such such as covid 2019 impact on business and what are the area which can look at the deeper level in this uh, paragraph i would like to focus after the covid to th- to th- uh, covid 19 the internal audit scope need to be changed and management should identify an internal audit should discuss with the management and the other external auditor and identify the area which are which already impacted of the company business and which can be impacted in the future then internal audit scope need to be designed or redesigned keeping in mind covid 19 impact the audit program should finalize after the discussion with the gst auditor and gst auditor and so many so the internal auditor address most of the challenge in advance if anything happen in the future for the company is then the all the challenges if discuss with the outside auditor external auditor or other auditor with the management the internal auditor can address all the ch- challenges in advance now as per the survey this is the report now companies are moving away from traditional profile of internal audit the following are the top 
फाइव स्किल स्टार्ट फॉर इंटरनल ऑडिटर्स नंबर वन एनालिटिकल एंड क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग इसे अप्रॉक्स सेवेंटी थ्री परसेंट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल सिक्सटी वन परसेंट डाटा माइनिंग एंड एनालिटिक्स फिफ्टी परसेंट जनरल आई टी नॉलेज फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट बिजनेस एक्मेंट फोर्टी सिक्स परसेंट दिस इज द सर्वे डन इन द पास्ट एंड दिस इज द पैरामीटर ऑब्जर्व बाय द सर्वे रिपोर्ट how the internal audit add value in the organization many men expect internal auditor should add some value in their organization because internal auditor have diversified experience hence being an internal audit the role of auditor has increased and few are the point which can be discussed here and there internal audit work closely with the management and help to review whether existing system and the operation are effective and identify whether all the risk are addressed also to ensure whether all process are in place would mean sometime if the company set up 10 year before or 20 year before suppose we take the example 20 year before the company set up and the system in the process design at the time of company starting points but gradually the business expanded system and process are expanded some modification are done and sometime the system and the process are not agreed with the existing current scenario hence the internal audit should check or review the system and process and also comment whether the system and process in place are effective or non effective and what are the remedies remedies required to make it effective this is the first point internet should focus beyond financial statement most of the professionals generally do the internal audit of the financial transactions based on the financial statement given to them which include balance sheet profit loss and some tribal and some other records but other than financial statement the internal auditor should also focus what are the organization goal what are the current environment and what is the level of the employee satisfaction these are a, these are also a very critical area which need to be focused because sometime the progress of the business growth of the business depend upon the environment employee satisfaction and other hidden factors then interactor should go at the deeper level third point audit scope may include the area which can impact effective operation of an organization in audit scope may include the area which can be impact effective operation of the organization suppose you have finalized the audit scope when we finalize the audit scope but the effectiveness of any specific area or other area are not address or not directed in a deeper level then it will be not a complete position in the future now next point help in integrity of the organization system and the process and ensure whether it support to achieve organization goal this is a very critical point point number 4 how the internal audit can add the value help in integrity of the organization system what are the integrity of the organization system he can support he can help to the management and the process and ensure whether it support to achieve organization goal suppose some example have it turn over to your back update the plan from 500 crore to 2000 crore in next 3 year the internal audit 
will check whether the three time or four time of the turnover growth is possible with the existing system and the process. If not, what are the system and process need? What are those system and process need to be modified or amended to achieve the set goal as decided by the management? This is the fourth point. Internal audit report to CEO and board of director through an audit committee and provide his opinion. This is the role of the internal audit. And there's a five point in, in this way, internal audit can add value to the organization. As well, I just studied some report. A top risk area in audit 2020. These are the area which may be challenging in the future. What are those areas? Digitalization of the process. Sometimes the process, some of the, in the company, the process are manual or not very much automated. It is possibility that all the process in the big corporate can take the step to take the step for digitalization, digitalization of the, all the process. It may be automated also. Next is the cloud computing. Next is the cyber security. Next is the business continuity, continuity and the crisis response. Next is the non-gap financial measure. Next, data analytics and the master data, mass data uses. Next is the treasury management organization wide initiative project, effective talent management, trade environment and the custom, alignment of operation to organization strategy and objective, compliance management system, auditing organization culture and ethics, effectiveness and efficiency of operational process, integrated enterprise risk management and monitoring. ERM, we all know there is a possibility ERM will take much bigger role in the future. IT governance, outsourcing and managing third party relationship, tax compliances. These are the some areas, top risk area, which need to be checked in a deeper level in the future. These are the limits we all know. Listed company, unlisted company, un un unlisted, unlisted company, public company, private limited company. Income criteria is listed company, it is, up, it is applicable, internet is applicable under section 138. In unlisted company, turnover should be 200 crore. And same way, in private limited company, public company, turnover 200, private is again the 200 crore. Loan, in, uh, listed is applicable and unlisted 100 crore should be the turnover sorry 100 crore is the loan in public company and 100 crore in the private limited company capital criteria is 50 crore private company there is no criteria deposit 25 crore private is not criteria internal audit versus external audit we all knows about the difference but some of the point I would like to discuss and give the focus and need to understand in a thorough manner. The internal audit are appointed and removed by the management of the company. Anytime we all know, external audit are appointed and removed by the shareholder directly during the agent. The scope of internal audit is much broader and cover all risk to a business entity. Why the scope of internal audit is so much broader? Because the every area, every segment of the company, every vertical of the company may or may not be have certain hidden risk. Then coverage of the all, almost all area, all the segment, is the purpose is to internal auditor has to identify. There should not be red flag. There should not be alarming areas. They need to be reported. Second point, the scope of 
Solenoid is a specified company act 2013 and management. The object of internet to help management in risk management and add value by creating efficiency in system and finally obtain the objective of the business entity. Just understand uh, in a split form, the objective of internet to help in management in risk management. Mean interrogator has to identify risk area and help to the management and add some value. Add value by creating efficiency in system and finally obtain the object of the business entity. Creating efficiency in system. What are the system needs to be strengthened? What are the area? What are the area which need to be modified? or deeper down or some automated function need to be introduced. Third, the objective of external audit to report on the truth and fairness of the finance statement by examining underlying report and based on the evaluation of evidence gathered during the work. The external auditor do the audit based on the record given to him. Internal report to the audit committee Estimated report to the shareholder, respectively. The number of the board of directors they directly interact with the member with sitting of agent or agent. The report of internet is shared with the management via audit committee. The last point the report of external auditor is shared with the shareholders. And in case of listed company having share capital from public, well, why they come public. Qualification for internet. Before 2013, section 138, internal audit done by the charter content and the other professional, they are doing job in the company. But in section 138, section 138, talk about a chartered account, cost accountant, company secretary. Or any other professional, professional to whom the men men feel fit. Just understanding the example. Sometimes the energy audit cannot be done by the charter accountant, cost accountant, company secretary. Some engineer can be hired. The professional to whom the men men feel fit, they can hire and do the and get the audit done. In the capacity of internal audit also. Now the internal auditor having also internal auditor is a combination of different professionals. It may be charter content, post accountant, company secretary, engineers, even some advocate, some other professional also. Those can do the audit on behalf of management as required. Internal audit add value to the organization. Provide assurance regarding internal control, compliance, fraud detection. Consulting the operation risk management. Types of internoid. There are so many types of internoid, but majorly we can categorize here compliance audit, operation audit, information system audit, performance audit, environment audit, special finance. Generally, we know the compliance audit, we know the operation audit, we know the IT audit, performance audit. Environment audit, generally in the Gujarat area, most of the company or some ISO standard, they are also un, uh, required the environment audit report also. A special assignment can include anything. This may be the vendor management audit, customer management audit, contract basic audit, some supply chain, anything, anything which is not covered in this area can be covered in the special assignment as the requirement of the management. Now, internal audit charter. This is the terminology generally used by the, some big corporate, big CA firm. The internal audit charter is a formal document that define internal audit purpose authority, 
responsibility and position within the organization the charter should set out the nature of service that internal audit will provide and how internal audit will help the organization to achieve its objective sometimes we see as a key line the charter second line the charter should set out the nature of service that internal audit will provide and how internal audit will help the organization to achieve its objective mean whatever the object is company are decided company are designed company are finalized the internal audit can help with the management based on the existing system in the process your objective whichever you are decided a plan may or may not be achieved if certain need changes need required then you can suggest to management and after integration of that changes there is a possibility of the manifestation of the goal which management want to achieve in the future having a charter establish the internal audit activities position within the organization including the head of internal audit reporting line access to the record people and properties it is a key benchmarking internal audit charter is a key benchmarking tool against which the organization can measure the effectiveness of the internal audit mean internal through the internal audit charter the organization can measure the effectiveness of the internal audit it can also act as a service level agreement with the board or audit committee so that there is a clear understanding of the role purpose and position of internal audit within the organization and the scope and nature mean it there is a clear understanding of the role purpose and position of internal these are the key line the charter need to be reviewed periodically and approved by the board what are the segment what is the pillar what should be included in the charter one is the mission second is the objective third is the role and scope next is the independence next is the access next is the reporting next is the responsibility next is the planning next the quality these are the parameter which need to be include in a internal audit charter audit universe developing and maintaining the audit universe the structure of audit universe in an organization typically reflect the way the organization itself is structured and managed the audit universe may be arranged or categorized by business unit hierarchy enterprise architecture business process model governance framework service catalog or any other function the composition that best matches the way organization view their operation and regardless of the how the organization describe the different structure functional or technical elements corresponding to item in the audit universe there is almost always some level of the common overarching entity level control subject to audit this is the audit universe how to do internal audit this is just based on some experience and the knowledge i have said bullet point i just want to share with you when you draft the internal audit report drafting internal audit report is an art which required knowledge sorry which required knowledge and skill we should allocate team based on scope decide and then do opening meeting with the process owner few point need to be focused what are the point which need to be focused before starting of the internal audit share whatever share your audit requirement with process owner in advance not after reaching there at least five day before week day before uh week before or 10 day before you have to you should share the requirement with the process owner so that they can plan they can create they can develop they can spare their time and provide you the relevant document 
desired sample size of the transmission. Whatever the sample you will take, in the course of audit, the sample should be clear. Review the record provide. Prepare the annexure and mention reporting points. Sometimes we prepare the annexures but not mention the reporting point. And after finalization, finalization of the annexure, we forget. Then it is my suggestion. Okay, whatever the annexure you have prepared, just mention some bullet point of the reporting bullet point in the annexure itself so that when you finalize the report, you can recall, you can refresh what are the exit position was, what is the purpose of this annexure in the report. Next, draft the report point, draft the reporting point. You have to, uh, uh, you have to jot down the point which are related to report. Discuss with the process owner. What are the points you have prepared or jot down? You should discuss with the process owner. Add comment from the process owner. Don't move before, without discussing with the process owner. You should finalize your draft report after discussing with the process owner. Otherwise, in the upper level, there will be no value of your audit observation. Draft final report with the risk category. What are the category? High, medium, low, you should mention. And you should also mention what are the root cause of this risk. Next is the prepare adjective summary. Because adjective summary is the mirror image of the report. So you should be very much particular about the point and the language you design and draft and share with the management. Do the closing meeting with all the process owner. Before moving, you should share what are the observations you have find out, what are the document, what is the explanation they are given. You should share with them. Then move. Later on, you circulate the report with the management. This is the risk rating criteria. You should mention high risk, where is the high risk, where the medium risk, where the low risk. You should mention this is language I have given. Rating criteria high, medium, low. What is the criteria? What is the high criteria? It significant major control gap, major control gap, which may result into heavy financial impact. Or major violation of law and cost. If there is such, such phase situation, then you should mention this is the high risk area and denoted by the H. Medium deviation from control, which may impact adversely or some weakness in existing control or non compliance with the process, processes or regulation. In this situation, then mention medium risk. All other objections not falling in the above categories are called the lower risk. Because the sometimes we mention the high, medium, low based on our understanding, our level of the knowledge, our experience, but exactly high, medium, low should be categorized based on the requirement, based on the relevancy of the audit observation. The rating of the audit observation also give impact based on the high medium low. The focus, the main, main major focus move toward the high, then move, then medium. So you should very much particular, very much clear what are the observation you are, uh, you are showing under the umbrella of the high risk observation, then medium, then low. What are the root cause if there is high? What are the root cause? System not existing sometimes, then SNE. System existing but not adequate. The second one, SENA. Legal non compliances. These are the root cause definition which you can, if you mention in the report, definitely it will give the clarity picture. Somebody of the audit. Summary of the observation rating and the control gap. What are the audit area? What is the slide number? How much the total observation? How much the high? How much the medium? How much the low? What are the root cause? If you give that dashboard in such way, then definitely 
within few minutes the amendment you can give major impact to the amendment and they can ask only the relevant question keep in mind we have the focus move high or medium or low whatever roadmap for internet this is based on my knowledge and experience these are the four, three four slide but i have picked up the only one when you go for the audit you should focus in such a way so that the knowledge you should acquire with the client accept your accounting knowledge you before doing the audit you should invest one and two days or three days in a such a way understanding the client business what you will understand in kick off meeting in business and understanding in first business meeting kick off meeting you will understand what is business is what are the major product what are the competition what are the vertical what are the challenges who is the computer and so on so forth then website review you should visit the website thoroughly and then report what is the turnover trend profit trend what is plus what is minus what are the negative or positive indication in the balance sheet pnr what are the software in use sap navigation oracle jd then uh, key product we already discussed major customer or vendor we already discussed understand the client business this is the one area where you should invest at least one and two days and thorough understand of the business so that you will be in a position to go and do the audit very effectively the second is diagnose actually identify the business vertical interaction with the process owner prepare a checklist department by risk assessment analyze and red flag computer knowledge sort analysis this is the diagnosis step audit program in scope it should be based on the client interaction because general you should not prepare or finalize the general audit program the audit program should be specific and should be agreed with the client business environment and the uh, adjectly the process which is already exist in the business you should not be you should not prepared or you should not be finalized audit program which is general client specific audit program should be there coverage of process review and the transition compliance of sop and effectiveness sometimes the sop prepared see 5 year before 10 year before but they are not very much effective then you should go and understand whether this sop which is prepared or finalized by the company in the past whether effective or not you should check and also give the comment relevant comment review of risk assessment what are the risk you should identify you should understand also give the comment and next is the various act complaint sometime the company have a manufacturing plant two three plant or less or more almost more than 10 or 15 act are applicable in each plant then what are the act are applicable in the plant or company you should prepare a checklist so that you can review what are the compliance what is non compliance factor or area indication of course of principle depend software implementation and the compliances sometime if software implemented recently one year six months before one year before then you go and check what are the standard report what are the customized report what is the integration road map what are the interface interface created you can discuss you can check it approach to internet i just here one checklist when you do the vendor management when you do the internet of the vendor then you should focus policy and procedure define policy framework whether the entity entity has established vendor management policy procedure community risk management due diligence standard contract standard these are the these are the parameter of framework you have to check up effective oversight periodical review and approval of the policies vendor risk management program 
definition of vendor requirement what is the requirement then regulatory consideration then share of business what is the reliability what is the scalability what is the assignment risk rating to vendor identify key performance indicator business continuity plan plan vendor relationship with the insight and service legal agreement these are the point you can consider arun ji hello mr arun anybody has a doubt or any question hello anybody have a doubt or question we have around 15 minute we can entertain the question if any participant ko koi query hai to please bataye uh, arun ji uh, we have 15 minute i have explained if somebody want to ask the question sir my apna deliberation complete ho gaya kya ha we just complete within 45 minute and 15 minute i have spare time for the question answer okay 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 एज ऑफ नाउ कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है सर एज ऑफ नाउ जस्ट नो क्वेश्चन अह ओके तो आई थिंक विद या हां सर कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है ओके तो वी वी शुड क्लोज इट डाउन बिकॉज़ आई जस्ट स्पेयर 15 मिनट टाइम फॉर द क्वेश्चन आंसर सर वी कैन वी कैन वी कैन वी कैन एज यू विश सर no otherwise any any anything in your mind we can share also